and welcome. Today I will show you how easy it is to create uh, tests for Salesforce with Test Trigger. And as a reminder, Test Trigger is executable specifications engine. Uh, on top of being executable specification, we also have a Chrome plugin. You can uh, start recording in here. And uh, let's, for example, create a lead. Uh, to do that, we don't have lead in the menu, so I'll click on a launcher. Let's find leads in here. Click on leads. I want to click new. And uh, let's type last name and company and let's click save and let's validate that uh, we have this uh, lead here uh, visible on the screen below lead all right let's stop the recording uh, as you can see, test trigger uh, required a lot of um, uh, stuff in here. So we don't uh, really need uh, uh, lots of that. For example, there is no hovers. We don't care about hovers. And um, we need to click a launcher instead of just hovering it, uh, on it. And enter leads. Again, we don't care about Hoover. And it's enough to enter just once. Then we click uh, Leads in there. Um, then we click New. Uh, let's uh, make sure it will go through a second time. Um, and as you can see, uh, we it detected what we clicked on the lead. Uh, but we don't need uh, uh, the click, we need the validation. Check if page contains. And the syntax is like this. Contains. Okay, so this way, um, uh, this test will uh, run once, and then I will show you how to make a real test after. Uh, instead of a sequence of steps click it and run then we go back to our uh, test suite and expand it and uh, what this trigger does in here is uh, for every test it uh, starts a new server um, it uh, opens a browser and it starts uh, uh, executing the steps and uh, log in a special command because uh, because we had uh, username and password specified when I was creating this test suite. Uh, it entered uh, my credentials and clicked login. All right, so we clicked on app launcher in here. Uh, drum roll. So we have these uh, search apps and items. Okay, so in this particular case, it entered something, but it says there is no leads on the left of on the left of service. So that is uh, uh, like that is some kind of a mistake. So we, we shouldn't click leads on the left of service, we just need to click leads. So uh, to point out how easy it is to understand what is going on, there is plain English description or a screenshot and let's update and retest and um, I'll go from there. All right, story starts executing uh, once again, going through the steps. I clicked up launcher. All right, 
it load it up launcher enter leads and click leads all right so we go to leads page and click new in here and highlights where it creates it where it clicks it um, all right it's on a new page now it um, enters uh, last name and the company and the click save on the right of save a new again the system will automatically detect that there is more than one save button on the screen somewhere and therefore to uh, specify exactly the one you want to click it will try to come up uh, with relative locations in this particular case relative it is relative to a save a new button okay and uh, what I want to show you is that it highlighted uh, like our uh, text in here it's in green uh, which will help you to avoid uh, false positives because you literally exactly see where it is and it will only validate on visible texts and it will only uh, be successful if this text is below leads which is exactly what we are looking for okay 52 seconds very fast uh, however now let's do next step let's make this a real test how do we do that well um, as you can see in here and let's make it a little bit larger uh, this is not going to go through next time because this is um, it will be identical to already existing lead the same last name and the same company what we need to do is we need to generate a unique lead let's go to documentation and see how we can do that where is a section here saying generate and a table of basic commands and we can just copy the example or multiple different options how we can do that uh, and uh, let's paste it in here and we need to enter into uh, last name instead of name uh, in this one and let's do the same for the company as well as a company and we'll save it as a company instead of generated name and of course we don't need the original enters because we're generating uh, unique data and entering as you can see it uses regex for 30 uh, unique symbols all right let's update and retest now okay so this time uh, what it will do is it will go through this sequence of steps but instead of using uh, predefined data like we uh, uh, entered uh, statically last time we just created the test it will uh, generate the unique uh, last name and unique company and uh, uh, it will use those to enter into uh, username and password by the way it's gonna uh, going and just realize it's going to fail because we didn't fix the validation we'll do it in a second we'll wait until it actually fail uh, because in validation we're still validating uh, the old version uh, uh, of uh, username uh, of uh, last name and we actually need to validate that uh, my current version uh, is where you know what let, let me cancel because it will try to wait until it is there and this is this is what is failing um, uh, like remember it was a static data which we are entering so instead uh, we need to validate that uh, it contains this generated last name which is just generated and we have a special key there stored value which will tell us that it is a, um, a variable and not actually static text let's update and retest okay so this time it, it should go through nicely because now we are referring to the generated value which we generated previously moreover um, I believe this is the right way to actually test uh, lead creation 
because it generates a unique last name in the company every single time and it uses that uh, generated uh, last name to do the validation. Uh, that is the right way to do that because, uh, for example, if you're using some kind of uh, uh, standard uh, username uh, uh, and password and it's, it's kind of the same like last time or you, you interact the numbers like uh, Peter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and all those kind of stuff, 6 and next, next to 7 and so on and so forth. So there could be that uh, the page uh, actually contains uh, the old version on the screen right if you always have last name Peter or something like that you don't know that whatever value on the screen is from some old previous run or from this brand new unique current run and in this particular case we know this one uh, uh, this name uh, last name had been generated just only within this specific run it was not there during last run uh, because it's like 30 unique symbols in here all right and yet again so this is the last name and it will validate that this value is below last name it will highlight which one is here it took 50 seconds and uh thank you very much uh, everyone for watching this demonstration this is how easy it is to create exceptionally stable and easily maintainable tests for Salesforce. Thank you very much.